now for the car review. Now, Mr. Mars had the chance to drive. The Kona. Don't be smiling at me when I give this introduction. Had the chance to drive the Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat. And that's all I'm going to say because I know that you'll rub it in even more now that you've had a chance to drive it. Well, let's get, let's get David Attorney on here. So we're, we're talking about the 2023 Durango SRT Hellcat Premium All-Wheel Drive. Now, sure. I'm going to explain that to you. Okay, please do. Now, the Dodge Durango, uh, you can actually, if you count the different editions that are, they have listed on their website, you can actually get 18 different trim levels or whatever you want to call it of the Durango. However, we're going to just talk about the three Hellcat editions. You can get the uh, SRT Hellcat, the SRT Hellcat Plus, the SRT Hellcat Premium, which is the one that we had. This is a full-size SUV, three-row. We had the six-passenger version because we had the captain's chairs in the second row. One of my granddaughters, I was taking her someplace in it. She said, this is a family car? Yes, this is a family car when you get everything in it that you really want. And uh, it has a distinctive SRT badging. Uh, ours had the dual racing stripes on it, the uh, SRT performance hood, had projector headlamps, LED daytime running lamps, all that good stuff you're going to find out there. SRT red Brembo brakes had power sunroof, power liftgate, 20 by 10 inch wheels all by the way tens. around. Some fatties. Yes, 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 yes. Now you go to the inside of it, and this is where you're really going to see that is is could be a family vehicle. Laguna leather seating. Got the high performance bucket seats up front. Uh, they're heated, ventilated. The second row has also bucket seats that are heated, and it has a console in that second row, so it's very comfortable for the rear passengers. Uh, up front, you're also going to find out you've got a 200 mile per hour speedometer. And you're also you've got a 10.1 inch touchscreen where the nav, or the UConnect system is nav. You're going to find your SRT performance pages there. It's got wireless charging on it. It's got the Harman Kardon audio with 19 speakers with subwoofer and 825 watt amp. So there's power in this vehicle on everything. Now, the uh, Hellcat was first introduced in 2021. It was really only supposed to be a one model year <coughs> production, but it keeps going because people love this vehicle. It does weigh 5,500 pounds, so it is a large vehicle. Holy Toledo. And it's heavy in the all wheel drive configuration. Now, under the hood, you're going to find the 6.2 liter V8, 710 horsepower SRT Hellcat engine, 645 pound feet of torque, eight speed automatic. Now, you can properly equip this vehicle, and I don't know that I would do it with the Hellcat motor, but 8,700 pounds of Durango is capable of towing. Now, the EPA says you should be able to look for 12 miles per gallon in the city, 17 on the highway, and combined 13. Now, for the two tanks of fuel that I drove this vehicle during the week, I had it across 238.3 miles. I got <laughs> what? Good, good. You got how much? I actually got 13.1. Oh and I God. took a picture of it to prove it. <laughs> He's such a liar. 13. I took a picture now of it. Now, you got to remember, 13.1. He also drives to Houston once a week. I did not drive it over here this week. Why is that? Out. Because it sucked down too much gas? No, because we were at the Autorama. It came in with the Autorama, and it had the truck full of all our stuff oh, in it. okay. I okay. see. It all hurt right. my feelings to leave it sitting in the driveway for a couple of days. <laughs> I'll bet it did. Well, you could have transferred it from the truck to the back of the uh, Hellcat. I, I was afraid it wouldn't hold it all, but uh, we have a lot of stuff. But anyway. Zero to 60 in less than five seconds, according to Dodge. It does have a competition suspension on it. And so you're going to have a firm highway ride. Does it ride. come with now, that? Yes. yes it yes. comes with that. Yeah. When you get that engine common pa combination package with all-wheel drive, that's what you're going to get. But it's not that rough. That You know, you're going down the highway at a No, it weighs almost three tons. Exactly. And when you've got the engine that you can hear, I mean, my wife went to sleep. We were cruising, and she just, <laughs> yes, exactly. She thought it was great for that. And I said, great, then I'm going to get one. But she didn't like that idea too good. Anyway, so if you're looking at a Dodge Durango, you can get into this vehicle for $40,645. But we're talking about the Hellcat. So a base trim help price on a Hellcat is $91,740. Wow. Now, uh you can get the Hellcat for $93,335 and the Hellcat Plus for $99,935. Or you can get, as tested, the MSRP on the Durango SRT Hellcat Premium All-Wheel Drive for 
for 20. <laughs> now, I went out and I looked to see what you could compare this to. Now, there's a lot of full-size SUVs out there. Yeah. The v, nothing, there's nothing some of them that have all-wheel drive. Yeah. But none of them have 700 plus horsepower. Well, so the, I just didn't even bother. Well, you get be, one of these three would, or get it would be the Escalade V. Uh, That's 700 horsepower. Yeah, or yeah, okay. the uh, I didn't think it Aston quite Martin. The Aston Martin for, for $300,000. <laughs> oh, well. uh, I'd have enough trouble staying and keeping gas in this one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, but anyway, uh, it's it's a very impressive vehicle. Well, it it'll certainly do a is. lot and of the, things. And the on-ramp acceleration test. And that's my review of the 2023 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat. It still has that smile on his face. <laughs> it's not a smile. It's a smirk. Oh, I love it. All right. Hey, the Inwheel Time Car Talk Show is available 24-7 through the iHeartRadio app. Just look for Inwheel Time Car Talk. We also have been-